So when you see standing in the holy place the abomination that causes desolation spoken of through the prophet Daniel, let the reader understand. And then he goes on and talks about what people will need to do. The Bible says before the second coming, before the rapture, the antichrist, the abomination of desolation stands in the holy place the Bible says there comes a time of trouble. And the Bible says at the same time the gospel goes to the whole wide world. You listen to me. There'll be no sold souls saved after the rapture. There'll be no preaching after Jesus catches up his people. If you're going to be saved... You better get saved now. Hmm. The Bible tells us that there comes a reign of terror that I wish I need not even mention. And when I talk here about the preaching of the gospel, I mean the preaching of a blood-red gospel. I mean a gospel that talks about a bleeding Christ. I mean a gospel that says you can be saved through the blood of the atonement, not by the works of your attainment. Revelation 14, you know the passage, it talks about the three angels' messages. That goes to the whole wide world. And then the great prophecies of Revelation 13 are fulfilled that talk about the beast, the image of the beast, the mark of the beast. This idea says the beast the image, the mark of the beast that occurs after the rapture. It's all tied up with the Jews. It's tied up with a revived Holy Roman Empire. But the saints are home in glory. But the Bible says, don't you be fooled. The church of the living God is going to confront the Antichrist. They're going to see the seas turn to the blood of a dead man when the seven last plagues are poured out when intercession ceases, as is taught in Revelation chapter 15, when the door of mercy closes for the human race. And then God calls out a remnant, Revelation chapter 12, verse 17. Revelation 12, verse 17, which will ultimately be fulfilled during the last great conflict. Revelation 12, verse 17. Then the dragon was enraged at the woman, the church, went off to make war against the rest of her offspring, those who obey God's commandments and hold to the testimony of Jesus. You say to me, who is this remnant? Well, my beloved friends who are dispensationalists say, well, that's a remnant of Jews. That's why they keep the commandments. Because Christians don't need to do that. They don't need to keep the Sabbath or the Ten Commandments. So they've got to be a, a group of Jews. I want to tell you, they are a group of Jews, spiritual Jews. I believe that the Israel of God today is made up of Arabs and Jews and Americans and Russians, and Australians, and Spanish, and Croatians, all of those people who have been saved by the blood of Christ. Amen. That's the Israel of God. 